In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a complete guide to every race in Blocks Fruits. Starting off, we obviously got the human race, the most common race in game. You literally have a 62.5% chance of being human when you first spawn into the game. And for the version 1 of this race, which is the default form, you get absolutely no new buffs. Next, we got the shark race, and you have a 12.5% chances of spawning in as a shark. And the V1 of this race gives you massive damage reductions and the ability to swim in water without taking as much damage, which is gonna help you a butt ton when it comes to getting from island to island at the start. Next, we got the angel race, which is also a 12.5% chance. And for the version 1, your jump height will slightly increase which isn't that great of a buff but you also do get a small pair of wings on your back next up we got the rabbit race and for this one you got a 12.5 percent chance of spawning in as and for the version one it gives you a movement speed buff of 1.5 times your normal movement speed and it also gives you a pair of white ears on your head which look pretty cool next up we got the cyborg race and this race is actually pretty special you don't actually spawn in as a cyborg but you do have a way of obtaining it and just like the human race for the v1 you get absolutely no new buffs but you do get a pretty cool metallic mask next up we got the ghoul race and just like the cyborg race you can spawn in as this race but you can get it through other means in the game and the v1 of this race it slightly increases your regeneration speed at night by 30 percent and it also does give you a small pair of black horns moving on to the v2s of the race we got the human race here and the way you get v2 for this race is by completing the alchemist quest the alchemist quest basically asks you to find three different types of flowers and once you do that your race is going to be upgraded you get four different buffs when you upgrade to v2 it gives you increase in movement speed it also doubles your flash dip range and it lowers the cooldown to around 10 seconds which is a pretty good step up from the original 15 and also gives you extra dodge and faster regeneration for your observation ability and it also gives you a slightly longer dash distance which isn't that amazing but it's still something that's pretty good moving on to the v2 for the shark race for this one it increases your player speed in water and it completely removes the damage you take and this is basically going to let you swim in water even when you have a blocks food and this can be pretty overpowered if you know how to use it properly and you obviously get no visual changes for this moving on to the v2 for the angel race it makes it so your first air jump will go slightly higher than the other jumps and also the energy you consume while using air jumps is reduced by 20 percent and you also gain an additional air jump which makes the max air jumps you can do 11 and you also get no visual changes moving on to the v2 for the rabbit race we got two pretty decent buffs the first one it increases your player movement speed to two times your normal speed which is literally going to make you like the flash then it also increases your player's dash length slightly and it reduces the amount of energy it takes to dash from 25 to 15 and you also get no new visual changes moving on to the v2 for the cyborg we got a 10 percent defense against melee sword and gun attacks and 15 percent of the damage that you take will passively convert into energy which is going to help your butt out when it comes to saving up energy to use abilities. Moving on to the V2 for the ghoul race. For this one, you get a life leech ability. Which means every time you do damage to a person, you heal a percentage of that attack back. And in the V2 for this race, that's going to be 25%. And it also works with NPCs, but instead of healing back 25% of your damage, you're only going to heal back 5. Because it would make you way too overpowered when it comes to grinding. And you also get no new visual changes. And that's it for the V2s. Moving on to V3 for the human race. We got a pretty unique quest for this one. For this one, you have to complete Aeroes quest. And it gives you a different quest that depending on what race you are. For the human race, you have to kill the diamond boss, the Jeremy boss, and the Vegeta boss. And if you're server hopping, make sure you grab the quest every time you join the game, or else it will reset and you will lose your progress. Once you get the meat 3 for the human race, you're gonna unlock an ability called Last Resort. And once you activate this, you're gonna deal more damage depending on how low your health is. The lower your health, the more damage you do. It has a cooldown of 20 seconds and it lasts for five whole seconds. And unfortunately, the V3 for the human race actually has no visual changes. Moving on to the V3 for the shark race, you get an ability named Water Body. And this decreases the damage taken from players and NPCs sees by 65% and also makes you swim a little bit faster. It lasts for a total of 4.5 seconds and has a cooldown of 30 whole seconds. And for the visual changes, it gives you two extra fins, so you look even more like a shark. But I'm not sure if sharks have fins on their arms. Wait a minute, they don't even have arms. Moving on to the V3 for the angel race, you unlock an ability called Heavenly Blood, which increases your defense by 15%, heals around 20% of the player's maximum health, as well as 10% of their maximum energy, along with the natural regeneration. So you're literally going to be healing super fast. This lasts for a total of 6.5 seconds and has a cooldown of 20 seconds. And if you're wondering about the visual changes, your wings actually get a bit bigger and they actually flap around now. They even have a nice animation to them. Moving on to the V3 for the rapid race, you unlock an ability called Agility. For this one, it increases your player's movement speed to four times the normal speed and also decreases the cooldown for dashing so you can literally spam that. It lasts for a total of 6.5 seconds and has a cooldown of 30 seconds. You also get a rabbit tail. Moving on to the Cyborg race for the V3, you get an ability called Energy Core. And while activated, it boosts your defense by 30% and you also create an area of damage 
lightning effect around you that deals damage to everything. And the amount of damage that lightning does depends on the level of the player. It does a total of 33 ticks of damage and lasts for 6.5 seconds with a 30 second cooldown. And also it does break observation, so it is an extremely overpowered ability. And for the visual changes, you actually get a pair of black and red futuristic glasses, which look pretty cool. Moving on to the B3 for the ghoul race, you unlock an ability called Heightened Senses, which allows you to use skills that are still on 40% cooldown, which can literally let you spam abilities if you know how to use it properly. It also increases your damage by 5%, your speed by 10%, and your defense by 15%. It lasts for a total of 8 seconds and has a cooldown of 25 seconds, which means out of all the races, this has the lowest cooldown. And for the visual changes, it basically just increases the length of your horns, so you look pretty demonic. Moving on to the V4s for the race, the first one we got here is the human race. And once you transform into your V4, you're going to receive receive max stats as well as increased damage and speed and you're also going to be healing by 10% all the time. And keep in mind the V4s for every race have a normal version and an upgraded version. The first ability you get for V4 in the human race is called Psycho. For this your flash step now has 3 charges which temporarily make you invisible and faster when you use them. And the charges you see are displayed at the bottom of the screen. The upgraded version of this ability makes it so the flash steps now regenerate faster, the dash distance increases and the moves cannot be cancelled when you take damage. Which can make it 10 times easier for fights. Next ability is called Limit Break and this allows you to become stronger the more you fight through your rage meter. And for the upgraded version your rage meter now lasts longer and is uncapped to 150%. And the visual looks for the V4 for the human race look incredibly cool. You get this pretty cool red aura around you and the transformation is just superb. Moving on to the V4 for the shark race, you get the passive buff that all races get. You receive max stats, you increase in damage speed, and you heal by 10%. The first ability you get for this race is Leviathan's Armor. You gain a huge water shield, which regenerates by dealing damage. The shield blocks 85% of the damage dealt to you, and the shield can go up to 20% of your max health. And in the upgraded version, the shield capacity is increased, and the shield's health can go up to 40% of your max health. The next ability you get is called Whirlpool, and for this one, you apply a water debuff to your enemy, slowing their speed, reduces their defense effects, and it stacks up. And in the upgraded version, the debuff now lasts longer. Before it lasted for 3 seconds, now it lasts for 5. And for the race transformation of the shark, in the normal version you get a pretty cool tail and once you transform you glow with this blue aura and you look really badass moving on to the v4 for the angel the first ability you get is called prince of the skies and this basically allows you to glide in air by holding the dash button and free fire while holding the jump button and in the upgraded version all the effects are increased greatly next ability is called king's rule and for this one you add an aura around you which has multiple effects which includes slowness damage energy drain and screen distortion and in the upgraded version all effects are increased and the visual changes to the angel race are very very cool in the passive version, your wings get much bigger and have a pretty cool waving animation. And in the transform version, you turn into a person with very cool golden aura and you actually have a total of 4 wings now. And this one also looks incredibly crazy. Moving on to the V4 of the rabbit race, the first ability you get is called Whirlwind. For this one, you leave behind a tornado while dashing. And these tornadoes trap your enemies temporarily. And in the upgraded version, the tornadoes become much stronger. Next ability we got here is called Lightning Cloak. And for this one, the dashes become much stronger due to electricity. So every time you dash, you get these cool electricity effects and in the upgraded version it allows you to super dash by holding down the dash button and this one looks very very cool but moving on to the transformation for this race you look incredibly amazing you basically transform into this green glowing monster with a bunch of lightning around you you literally look like the flash and your tail also gets much bigger moving on to the v4 for the cyborg race the first ability is called energy control for this one now the damage you deal actually chains on to nearby enemies which means that if you damage one person damage also gets distributed to other people around you and it also gives you the ability to super jump but you do have to have your instinct ability activated and for the upgraded version the chain damage increases and the super jump deals more damage and no longer requires observation to be enabled the second ability you get is called aftershock for this one you apply electrifying effect to your enemy and it disables their observation ability and everyone knows that that is one of the most important abilities when it comes to pvp so your enemy having it disabled can make it very overpowered and in the upgraded version of this ability the effect actually lasts longer so they can't use their observation hockey for even longer moving on to the visual changes you get this cool pair of wings behind you and once you transform you get covered in this pink aura and your cybernetic parts start glowing moving on to the v4 for the ghoul race the first ability you get is called blood siphon for this all of your attacks gain life leech which means you heal back damage that you do to your enemy and in the upgraded version the life leech effect is increased which means you heal back more health next ability we got here is called domain expansion and for this one you add a dark field around yourself and if anyone stands in it it reduces their health regeneration it gives blindness to them and all of your nighttime passive abilities become usable during the day and all of your cooldowns are reduced by 40 and in the upgraded version, you release crows when you dash, which can attack nearby enemies. Pretty interesting ability, and you need at least one upgrade of Blood Siphon for this to work. Moving on to the visuals, this might be one of the coolest race V4s in the game. For this, when you transform, you get a bunch of red effects and you glow with a black aura, which looks pretty cool. And that's about it.